The real world has plenty of devices for charitable amazement, nature is much more inventive with miracles than you and I. The laws of physics tell us about all the possible phenomena that could in principle appear in our universe, but only by observing, measuring, and experimenting with the real universe can we determine what might actually appear. One of the very first consequences of Einstein's general theory of relativity was a black hole, a region of space with so much matter and energy concentrated in one place that nothing, not even light, can ever find a way out of this object, but black holes can still scientifically and mathematically have an antipode, an object opposite to them, namely white holes, from which this matter and energy will find its way out. Before I begin, I would like to express my deep gratitude to all the viewers and sponsors of my channel. Your kind words and support motivate me to make more and more interesting videos, and here we go. Perhaps everyone knows about the existence of black holes. Black holes, as numerous observations have shown, are not only a physical reality, but also very numerous in the universe. And as for white holes, after all, they are one of the most fascinating and unusual phenomena allowed by physics. To get a better idea of what this object is, it will be more convenient to start from the very beginning, namely with their antipodes, black holes. Black holes are born at the end of the life cycle of massive stars. Dying, such stars burn with flame over a new one, and then collapse, as if falling inside themselves. The result is a very dense and heavy object with a very strong gravity, so strong that even light cannot escape absorption. The probability of a black hole is extremely high in cases where the mass above the new one exceeds the solar mass by 100 times or more. But, dear friends, you also need to understand that black holes do not absorb absolutely all the matter that is near them. In fact, they absorb only what passes beyond the event horizon, including light. We know that the event horizon is like the outer boundary of a black hole. It can be imagined as an outer ring surrounding a black hole. If an object goes beyond this outer boundary, it can never return. We can't see beyond this boundary, but scientists speculate that there is a region in the very center of the black hole where matter is compressed to a tiny point called a singularity. Sometimes scientists joke, I call the singularity the place where physics is multiplied by zero. This is the place where its laws are completely destroyed. In the case of a black hole, a place where the rules that describe spacetime no longer apply, as if in this place you only get nonsense as an answer to any physical question you can ask the system. So, friends, if everything is more or less clear with a black hole, what is a white hole? First of all, we need to remember that black holes are not black. They simply do not emit or reflect light, and we are unable to see what is happening beyond their event horizon. But don't be upset about this, friends, because the fun is just beginning. We can simply recognize that Einstein's general theory of relativity is a time-symmetric theory. If you observe a system of matter and energy moving through the fabric of spacetime, you cannot say for sure whether the clock is going forward or backward. The predictions of general relativity, on the other hand, are symmetric in time, which means that objects move, accelerate, and interact according to the same laws in both cases. Another way to describe a white hole. Well, instead of turning the hand of a clock in the opposite direction, it is to think about what would happen if you turned the space itself in the opposite direction. The real-world analog of this strange idea would be a mirror sphere in a perfect spherical mirror placed at a certain point in space. Theoretically, it would be possible to see the reflection of the entire surrounding universe at once. Another very interesting question, which is inextricably linked to black holes, is, what happens to all the absorbed matter after the death of a black hole? According to quantum mechanics, the complete removal of information is impossible, but if nothing can leave the black hole with its death, the information is still removed. And in this case, the existence of white holes could solve this problem. So, I think you are already beginning to understand what scientists are hinting at, and they hint that black and white holes can be connected in space. These ideas are that the singularity can be not only a point where everything just falls after falling beyond the event horizon, 
but also a point where everything comes from, instead of just being the end of the story for matter. It can be the beginning of a new different story. That is, all the matter that reaches the black hole singularity point does not disappear without a trace, but goes to the white hole singularity point, and from there it gets to another point in space. Perhaps even to a parallel universe. In other words, it is quite possible that events can occur that lead to the appearance of a large amount of matter and energy at a certain point in space at a certain time, which in many ways resembles the amazing event that happened 13.8 billion years ago. I think you understand what I'm getting at. What does this mean? It means that our entire universe, our Big Bang, emerged from a state that is not too different from that of a white hole, and perhaps all of this happened to a large existence of a previous universe that formed a black hole of incredible size. The result of which was our appearance. Scientists have made a calculation that suggests that this idea can be taken quite seriously. The fact is that if we add up all the matter and radiation within the observable universe, i.e. all atoms, all black holes, all dark matter, all photons and all neutrinos, we will get the value of the effective mass of the observable universe. After all, if the well-known Einstein equation tells us that the energy of an object is equal to its mass times the speed of light squared, then it is also true that the mass of this object will be equal to all the energy it emits divided by the speed of light squared. That is, we can theoretically calculate the equivalent mass value for anything that has energy. But the most interesting thing is that if we imagine a black hole with a mass that matches the mass of all matter and energy in the visible part of our universe, we can get a black hole of such an incredible size that the radio from its event horizon will be equal to 14.5 billion light years. And this is very suspicious, because this figure is very close to the radius of the visible part of our universe, in fact, if it were not for the presence of dark energy, if instead of it in dark matter we had more ordinary matter, such as neutrinos or photons, these two values might even be equal to each other. Even if we have not yet found any evidence for the existence of white holes in our universe. The fact that we had a big bang and the fact that there are black holes in our universe are consistent with the idea of their existence. Maybe the universe doesn't want us or anyone else to be able to figure out its intentions. Maybe that's why event horizons are so suspiciously good at hiding everything that happens on the other side of them. Do you think there is any connection between black holes and the emergence of new universes, or not? And is it possible that when a new black hole forms in our universe, new amazing events happen on the other side of its singularity? Thank you for watching, dear friends. Your kind words and support motivate me to make more and more interesting videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we have many more interesting and exciting things to share with you. See you on our space journey.